Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today you're gonna see some real life card making. I made these cards for my daughters. I have twin daughters that just turned 15 and I really wanted to use these really cute stamps I've been collecting. I have the Lawn Fawn um, Sushi set, the Avery L. Faux set, and this brand new stamp set that I'm showing right now. I just picked it up the other day at Michael's. I was doing some birthday shopping with my sister and um, I saw this little stamp set for $5. I thought it was so cute. These are the silicone stamps. They're not the best quality ones. Uh, so they didn't stamp quite as good as the nicer ones I had from Avery L and um, and Lawn Fawn, but they were just so unique and cute that I thought they would make a nice addition to the Asian themed food collection of stamps that I have uh, amassed over the past couple of months. I don't know what it is about those really cute little foods with faces that I absolutely love, but I, I just, they were fun. They're fun to color. They are fun to craft with. And especially if you have teenagers, they're just so sweet. Now, I um, didn't show all the coloring here on this video. I'm just actually showing you some from this most recent stamp set because I, um, I already colored the other ones. I colored a bunch of them when I was having a craft night with some girlfriends and I would just kind of color them here and there randomly with markers that I had. And I just wanted to try out these uh, new Art and Fly markers. I'll have a review on them coming up soon, but uh, they did color and blend really well for this project. I only colored a couple things here and this isn't a coloring tutorial. This is kind of just a real life card making tutorial. I didn't really plan out too much other than the fact that I wanted to use a specific pattern paper pack and those stamp sets that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Oh, and I will put all the resources in the video description. Um, I got the paper at Michael's last summer. It was one of those hot buy paper pads for like $5 or something, five, eight, five or $8. So I'm not sure if they have those all the time because I don't typically get a chance to go to Michael's. Um, I've gone twice this year though. That's something, isn't it? Uh, but I'll put all that stuff there so hopefully you can find any of the things that I use today. Now I also stamped out some of the sentiments from the, this was from the um, Avery L stamp set, have a super birthday. I thought that was really cute. I love puns, especially food related puns. I just, I'm kind of corny. I'm corny, corny, that's a food related pun. Um, and I like that sort of thing and I'm sure my girls kind of rolled their eyes when they opened that card. But, uh, but hey, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to make a card for somebody in particular instead of just, you know, making something with no um, purpose or not no purpose, but you don't know who you're going to give it to. It's fun if you know who you're going to give the card to because then you can customize it a little bit. And oh, on all of these, these like different elements here, the faces are separate. So like on that bowl and that soy sauce, you would stamp those faces on if you wanted them separately. So if you're not into that, the cute, uh, food with faces. If you're not cute uh, into that kawaii look, you don't have to stamp the faces on, which I think is kind of nice because not everybody would be into that. Or maybe you want a frown or a surprised face or a smiley face or, you know, just a different expression on one of the different uh, feature pieces. You can alter that. Or if you don't want one, then you don't have to put it. So I think that's kind of cool. So I kept that pretty simple. I just kind of uh, adhered down a bunch of different uh, foods. And then on the inside of the card, I just want to get a little bit of pattern paper to decorate it. And when I colored all of the images that you see that I'd be using on these cards that I didn't show you coloring in the video, um, I brought a piece of that pattern paper with me and I knew that it had all the colors from that pattern paper pack. So no matter what I used, if it matched that paper to color, then, or whatever I colored my images with, if it matched that paper, then it was gonna match the other papers in that pattern paper pack. And I feel like I'm gonna say, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. I need to match the papers in my pattern paper pack. Um, so I knew they would all match. And that's a good tip if you are gonna do your coloring, try to find your pattern paper first and then color to match the pattern paper. Cause it's so hard to color something and then find paper that matches. Sometimes it's nearly impossible. But I that layout was really cute and I knew my daughters would like it. It's probably not the most exciting card making video you've seen today, but, um, but the important thing is that you delight the recipient, I think, anyway. Now I got these stickers back on that uh, Michael's trip last summer, it was when I went to the stamp show in Massachusetts, they have a really big Michael's there. I found this little pack of stickers and it was like $1.77 or something and it had all these cute little dumpling stickers and that one that says you're a wonton in a million, I thought would be the perfect sentiment for this stamp, this uh, card. Now it's fun to make things using the same supplies, make a couple different cards, but I have twins and they're very different and I don't want to have both of the cards exactly the same. 
and I didn't want to have the same sentiment on each of the cards. So that worked out really well. So I could have one say, have a super birthday, and one be your wonton in a million, and I still have two delightful food-related puns, but each of my girls get a different card. I liked this, this, uh, heart pattern to me it reminded me of like the the pattern leggings that my girls used to wear when they were little like old navy used to sell them and they would have little matching tops and oh they were so cute so that's what that reminded me of instantly so i used a just a heart die cut and i cut a fairly good size heart and then i just cut an edge off so I could have it offset on the edge and then also bring the um, interest kind of into the center of that starburst area. And I used a bunch of sushi for this one. And um, yeah, I'm probably mixing my, um, I've got a, I got a food fusion card theme going on here. But you know, the funny thing is when you go to Chinese food restaurants or Japanese food restaurants in Maine, you often do get a fusion of different foods. So like um, there's a there's a restaurant we go to a lot called Green Tea. It's delicious and it's just called Asian Cuisine and it's definitely a fusion of like Chinese food and Japanese food. And there's a Vietnamese restaurant that has Vietnamese food and some Thai food. And a lot of times you'll see um, a restaurant that offers a couple different types of food from the Asian region. And it's neat because you get to try different things and everybody can get something that they like. And um, I don't know if it's like, you can let me know in the comments below if that's similar where you live or if that's just a main thing. Thing. You never know. It's like, is that just around here? And I made a pocket there to put a couple of gift cards in because it's really tough to shop for teens. Uh, a lot of times if it's like clothing or anything like that, you want to let them pick out their own to make sure they'll wear it. So we have a couple of gift cards there. And there you can just see how I put those things I colored previously together on that card. Um, I know this is probably a pretty simple card making video, but I just wanted to share what I made my daughters this year. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to do this. And I think we all should craft for fun because that's what it's there for. It's, it's a hobby to be enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.